Hi everybody, welcome back. Thank you for joining me for this video. I'm going to try something slightly different. Um, I'm borrowing Anna Blunt's um, stencil technique to create a fluid art heart. So she does these, um, she creates these stencils out of um, frog tape. Really, really clever. I'm going to link the, her video to creating these stencils in the description of this video so you can see exactly how she does them. So um, she uses greaseproof paper, frog tape, cuts out the shape and then puts that onto the canvas. So she's got the shape that she wants, the, the stencil. I'm going to do a heart. It's quite a basic uh, uh, shape to start with. Um, I'm going to use some paint with some PVA glue in and a little bit of silicon and I'm going to swipe. Then I'm going to lift the stencil up and put a base down. Um, there's lots of things that could go wrong. The base and the heart could, could merge. Um, I'm just going to enjoy it. I've got some fab colours, really bright heart colours. Um, so let me show you. These are the colours I'm going to use. So the base I'm going to use De La Rowney Graduate Acrylic Pearl White. I'm going to use that because it's got some texture to it. So it's not just a plain colour. Um, it's got some sort of movement in it. It's really pretty. Then the heart, I'm going to use these three Amsterdam colours. So I've got Quinacridone Rose, I've got Vermilion, and then I've got some bronze. I'm using here a 30 centimetre square canvas. You can see I've got my heart. So um, the heart, I've stuck it down with the, the frog tape and then I've just put some varnish here. And what that does is it just seals that gap. So I'm hoping by doing that, I'm not going to get lots of paint running underneath. I'm not bleeding underneath. So I'm going to do a swipe. So my plan will be, I'm going to put some white down as the base, just a really thin layer. And then I'm going to layer some colours around the edge and then I'm going to swipe inwards. So you get the more intense, denser colours at the edge and then it's going to uh, fade so it's paler in the centre. Then I'll take the tape off and then fill in the, the base. Um, I just get the feeling as I do this, this my plan will change. I don't know, I just get the feeling that I haven't thought this through fully um, and that things will, will crop up, but we'll just uh, deal with that as they happen. So the paint, it's quite thick. It's mixed about um, two to one. No, three to two. Let's say three to two. Three parts PVA glue and water pouring medium to two parts paint. I'm just questioning whether that's a bit thick, actually, as I'm feeling it. It just it feels a bit thick. I think I'm just going to add a little bit of water. So I quite like that consistency. So I'm afraid I haven't I haven't got a recipe now because I've just added a splash of water. But it's just about the feel of it. So it feel it's flowing really smoothly. So I just get the feeling that as I swipe across paints with this consistency, it would just flow really nicely. If it's too thick, you've then got the problem as well of it drying, uh, taking ages to dry and potentially cracking. So I guess you want the colours on the thinner side but thick enough that they're going to hold the cells, that the cells aren't going to just keep expanding. Oh, when I say cells, I added this into each of the three colours. It's made by a company called OGX, um, Coconut Milk Anti-Breakage Hair Serum. So that's the oil I've put in. I put in one drop into each of my three colours. That's what will create the cells when I swipe. So I'm just going to put a nice thin layer of the white down. I just think I'm just going to pour some on and then just spread it out. It needs to be really quite nice and thin. Just wet to basically to wet the canvas so that I can swipe the colours over the top. Right, so that white is down. There's a little lump of something there. And then I'm going to put my three colours down just around the edge. So I'm just thinking what colour I'd like to be the predominant colour because that colour I'm going to put down first. I guess I'm thinking pink because hearts are pink.
to swipe I'm just going to use a piece of laminated paper and I'm going to swipe in every time now I don't know what is going to happen in the center the center could look a mess um, I'm just not sure yet so I'm just going to try it just just experiment and see what happens I think if I aim for about there on every single swipe um, let's just see what happens so I'm just going to start with the pink and then swipe inwards. Okay, I think I'm happy. So let's torch it and see what happens. Right, I'm now going to lift the frog tape. I had thought about leaving the frog tape down, but I'd quite like to get it, the, the base down so it can all dry as one. So it hasn't worked here because what's happened is the pa the varnish has actually lifted. So my varnish technique didn't work particularly well. I do have a nice sharp edge everywhere else. So I just need to fix that. Right, and now I'm going to put some white down. So I was totally right that this didn't quite go to plan or things changed, the process evolved, because I was not expecting to do this surround, but I love it. Oh my goodness, I'm so happy I did it. Um, what was happening is the white was up against the colour and it was bleeding, so it was all it was all kind of bumpy and irregular. And then I just thought, well, why don't I just catch a little bit of that pink and swipe back outwards and look at the results. So you can see the, the pearl white really sparkly. Then you've just got this beautiful, beautiful lacing over the top of it. So really faint and really subtle, but really pretty. And then in contrast, you've got the really intense colours here, the orange, the pink and the bronze. Um, 
I wonder if it's a slightly runny mixture because the cells aren't particularly round, that which is absolutely fine. They're a little bit irregular, um, but just what a beautiful detail to it. Um, so really happy with the intense dark um, heart, but then the really faint, pretty surround. So I am really, pretty, uh, really, really happy with this. Um, so I'll be back when it's dry. So it's now finished and I haven't touched it. It is exactly as I left it when it was wet. I haven't embellished it, I haven't added to it. It's exactly as I left it and I love it. The colours are just amazing. I um, absolutely love how bright that pink is and orange and then how soft and pale it is on the white section. Um, really happy with my shape. I didn't have to really make any adjustments to my shape. Um, I just think, I think it just is made for me by this edge. I love this border. It's just so pretty. Um, there's no doubt where the heart is, but it's swiping in two directions, opposite directions. Um, and then love this. I love that white where there's some pearl white showing through. I'd quite like it if there was a bit more. So I think I just probably added a bit too much paint. Um, but just, I love it. Really, really happy with it. Um, let me show you the shine because look at that pearl white. It is absolutely beautiful. And also the bronze in the centre. So this is without varnishing it at the moment. So just imagine when that is varnished or resined, I'm not sure what I'll do yet. Um, it will just be so shiny and sparkly. Um, so yeah, really, really happy with this. Um, I've got another similar pour planned. I'm going to try a star. Um, so to, lay, to put the frog tape down on the, the canvas in a similar way to create a star shape. Um, so that should be coming soon. Great, thank you so much for watching. Please do hit the thumbs up button. Please do subscribe to my channel. And as always, just leave me any comments you have. Great, thanks for watching. Bye.